Okay, this is my last day in Pittsburgh and the last leg of this tour to Parts East. I'm off to see Cher Garden in Coriopolis, Pennsylvania. <laughs> hey there! Hey. <laughs> it's Cher Garden in Coriopolis, Pennsylvania. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. How about you? Can you believe I'm here? I can't, I can't, I can't believe I'm seeing you in person. <laughs> I cannot believe that I'm driving down the road with Kay sitting in my car. I can't believe this, a late bloomer. <laughs> I really can't. Well, I, I care about my fans, and so it was worth a drive over to see, uh, see your fabulous uh, garden and to hang out with you today. I am so glad, so happy. <laughs> benches in the pavilion or pagoda I'm not sure I am with Cher of Cher Garden on Facebook and she is a wonderful gardener and this afternoon we're going to be checking out all the stuff that she's growing but in the meantime we're right here in this peaceful pagoda pavilion in the dogwood meadow and I thought we'd have a little interview okay okay <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been growing your own food oh at least 20 years. That's great. But seriously, uh, organically is probably in the last 10. Okay. That's okay. Because really, the organic movement really has taken off in the last 10 years anyway. 10, 15, I guess. More so, so, were you using chemicals before or you just yes. weren't aware? Oh, you uh, were? No, I was using chemicals before because that was the way that uh, I was, I had always been shown to uh, garden. And now, and I also became a, uh, in, worried about my own food supply, what I was eating, what my family was eating. Right, right. And, and I couldn't find it in the stores, or if I did find it in a store, I would have to travel uh, probably about 45 minutes to get to it, which right. isn't that far, but I didn't want to do that on a regular basis. Right. And you enjoy gardening, obviously, or you wouldn't yes. be doing it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so did your, the big question is, she has two sons and a husband. And so did they embrace uh, the, the uh, healthy food lifestyle, your, the things you were making and growing? Uh, yes, as long as I included some meat with it. <laughs> right, right. Just a little background. When I first saw the photo of her greenhouse, I said, I want to see that in person. I want to step inside. So when we get back to her place, you're going to see her greenhouse, and you'll be as impressed as I was. 
the one side that's not heated wound up working very well without extra heat. That's so awesome. um, I'm uh, I'm very pleased with that. It's just you have to have enough soil. The depth that was what my problem was before. I was growing uh, anything under four or six inches of soil. You're just not growing. It's not going to work. But if you have at least four to six inch, you know, over that. The soil acts as an insulator, and it really does help with the, um, even if you have the coldness with it, the extreme coldness of, uh, say, below um, below 25. Wow. Then uh, I'll put an extra covering on my uh, uh, veggies that are in the uh, greenhouse. Right. But it does hold the heat and the insulating value. Well, this is probably the amphitheater. Mm-hmm. And I have some pigs, too. Oh, yeah. There's a wasp on there. It does appear to be that way. Wow. Yeah, oh, I see, hun yeah, I see what you mean. There's like hundreds in you there. You know what's happened? The tree was alive, but as you see, the it's eating the leaves. It's trying to butt out. Mm-hmm. What do you think this is for the, on no the, idea. does this protect the, uh, well, squirrels couldn't crawl on that, could they? Well, they could hop over it, though, it seems like. You know what, though, it moves, so maybe that prevents. Ah, yeah, see, it, maybe it, I don't know, squirrels aren't scared by much. No. <laughs> Little butterflies or moths or whatever. Too fast for me. Wow. Right. Well, I I think we needed to make a loop to get out, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. My name is Jim, and I'm one of the volunteers here at the garden. And I was pointing out this dogwood right here, supposedly one in a million. Really? The white dogwoods, the corners Florida, produce a red fruit called a droop. Uh, this one produces one that is black very unique wow. and the birds love the fruit uh, loaded with fat f a great great uh, energy source when they're migrating to the south so a lot okay. of birds hit this at uh, in the fall of this time uh, in this well, location well they have a lot of dogwoods here is this the only one that produces the black fruit yes yes and what's it called cornus florida it's the fruit fruit is called a droop d-r-u-p-e oh okay uh, but you'll see all the other whites which are scattered throughout and the dogwood meadow of course has a real concentration and there's a nice concentration here and across the road when you go to the main parking lot mm -hmm. there's a real nice arrangement of three okay a real nice simple arrangement and you're a volunteer here I'm a volunteer here. what mm -hmm. do you do here normally I mean what do you do normally I'm retired oh I'm fortunate that I'm retired I'm old enough to have retired are you a Pittsburgh resident I am ah you love Pittsburgh uh, I'm I'm a Pittsburgh cliche I'm uh, my I'm a first-generation American my father came was an immigrant from Scotland Big uh, Irish Catholic family, ten brothers and sisters. Lived in a river steel town. My mother taught school. I'm old enough to have worked in the steel mills, and I worked on riverboats for a year. Wow! I, I'm. It's <laughs> cool. like I, I wrote You're... the script from Disney. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> one for me. American bladder nut tree, or bush, and they are protected behind netting because. They're probably favorites of deer or or whatever. Do you even see a lotus plant? I don't know what a lotus plant looks like. This I assume is... they look like water lilies, but I'm I could be very, very wrong. Oh, it's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe they don't have them in the winter. True. Maybe they come up when it's warmer.
Even the bathroom fixtures are gorgeous. Look at that. I have never seen a sink like that. So here we have sheep in the orchard, so you don't have to cut the grass. Oh, and look, those are animal buildings over there. This is amazing. I love this place. More people in Pittsburgh need to know about this place. Wow. I think we found some gold, Cher. I think so, too. I wonder if we can cash that in. <laughs> hey, Cher. Hey. We have had a wonderful time at the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden, and I just want to read, they're reclaiming the land from Pittsburgh's gritty industrial past and transforming it into an outdoor experience unlike any in the region. They have about 60 acres of uh, gorgeous gardens, inviting trails, forested slopes, and open meadows. And they're, they're just getting started. They have plans for much more, 460 acres. They're going to have many more gardens and woodland experiences. So everybody who visits Pittsburgh should check this place out. And I think I want to name it Serenity. How do you feel? Absolute serenity here.